You know what's funny? Well, these videos are easy to make, especially when you've got something like this. New kit on the block, it's called the LensGo, and it can do various things. You can easily forget about Picolabs. You can forget about Runway ML2. LensGo has it all. Now, before we go, I'm not affiliating for them. I don't care if you're going to use it or not. I just wanted to share with you what I found. So you will not find any description links down below. I'm just sharing this with you so you can make videos, images, whatever you want for free and easy way. So what this is all about, well, it's just like any other image generation tool, just like, for example, Midjourney or Leonardo, let's say, even though I still use Leonardo because it's is good and of course it is free but you can use this one on its own so what this is all about well a lot of people are jumping into content creation world it's where the money is nowadays people just consume a lot of content and of course that means that someone has to produce that now there are two types of people of course there are consumers and there are producers what i always recommend to people okay consume the content but be a conscious consumer i mean i do it all the time i consume content i waste my time and of course just like all of the other people on the planet right but if you become a conscious consumer if you just take a look a deeper look what people are making what trends do they follow and if you just notice how much money they get with it and it doesn't matter instagram TikTok, you name it there's money on the table and believe it or not, a lot of younger generation are content creators, all right? So they're producers. So what I'm telling to people, go and see if you can produce. Now, the main thing, the main word is produce and can you produce? Everyone can. All right. It's all a matter of consistency and just learn a few like tools before it was like way harder because you had to like hire graphic designers or you had to learn yourself to do something with Photoshop, with Adobe Premiere Pro, Final Cut, whatever. But nowadays you've got AI tool for whatever, you know, and since the expansion of all these tools, well, it just got way easier. Believe me, I'll live off of this the last three years. All right. So. Whether you want to go with YouTube, Instagram, this video is for you. How you can create short videos and get that digital currency, which everybody wants today. And the name of the currency is attention. So let's go. First of all, let's go. You just have to create yourself an account. You can go over to the Discord server, but you don't have to. You can just continue with your Google account. And of course, start creating once you do that. Now, this is going to ask you like to type your name, to choose like your career, whatever. You just start right away. You don't even have to type it. Well, username, you just have to put it. But right away, you can just go over to create images. So this is the button here. And this will work like at the same principle, like, for example, Midjourney works. Prompt text to image. Really simple. You've got these tokens, as you can see, but these will regenerate once you just go overboard. And these are the models that you can choose from. So, for example, you've got some of these featured models that you can use right away. If you like find a particular style that you like, something that you think is going to soothe your needs, whatever you want to make, whatever like niche you want to make. So, for example, I'm just going to go with Pixar style here now. And then there are some image dimensions. So these are like your general aspect ratios, because for Instagram, you know how it goes. You will choose this one one by one. Or if you wanted to create, I don't know, maybe YouTube shorts, you will go with nine by 16. If you want to create some longer form content, you will go 16 by nine. So for this particular example, I'm going to go with one by one. All right. Here is the number of images. So I'm just going to go with two. And then there is this text guidance scale. Now, this means how this AI tool, how exactly is going to follow the prompt. And the last thing is negative prompts. I don't recommend using this until you get some experience with it, but it's a nice tool. Basically, what is doing? Negative prompt is just given the AI tool, the information. What do you don't want to be in the picture? All right. So it's a useful thing once you know what you don't want inside of that image that you generate. All right. So it's a useful thing, but skip it for now. And then, of course, 
you have to write the prompt down there. You can even go with upload image and that is your usual image to image generation. So if you've got a certain particular picture that you just want to transform, this is the button that you got to click. Otherwise, you just go with creation right away. I'm going to go with this. So an angry woman troll in a green shirt and colorful tights from trolley dolls for Halloween. So this is just something which is tied to Halloween event, but I just wanted to show you how this functions. And of course, it's gonna be in the Pixar style. If I've chosen another model, of course, it would be different. But for now, I just like the way this looks, for example. So this is the picture that I've gotten and you can just do now with it whatever you want to. And that is, of course, the most simplest thing Lens Go can do. But my favorite one is videos, of course. I use this to create reels. I use this to create shorts and, of course, TikToks. So this is the option, animate videos. You're going to be amazed of how this is good looking and everything. First of all, video duration, just go over to normal so you don't spend like a lot of these tokens. Then you can choose camera movement. So do you want your videos to have camera movement? Do you want zoom in, zoom out? You will get the hang of it once you just create multiple videos and you will see how all of this functions. But first of all, let's just create a certain video, which is going to be for this format. I'll just go with this. So a lion roaring on a mountain during the golden hour, creating a cinematic scene. Click on the start and let's see what is being made. For this, I actually use this like real prime, which is like the standard model that LensGo has. But of course, you can always choose some of these other models. It will, of course, depend on what kind of style you are pursuing. And of course, after a while, there's going to be the end result. So let's just have a look at it. I'll just go and increase the size of it. So let's just have a look. So a lion roaring click creating a cinematic scene. Now, this is something that I really think should be repeated because as you can see, there are some sketchy things happening on its face or I mean, here it is okay. Maybe it's because of the light, but I think this would be fixed if I have chosen like this longer video here. So this was just a tutorial on how to start with this, but of course you will need a lot more experience with it. And I just wanted to tell you what is the best function if you want to use this. You know, these Instagram theme pages, right? Well, as you can see, this is one example. They've got a lot of followers, but they have started with quotes. All right. They just started with a simple black background and then there's like white text over it nothing else all right so this is as simple as it can be anyone can make it right but what if you just started and created a theme page on instagram what i did recently but just by taking these quotes and just making a little camera movement on all of these ai created images of course you will get more traction than these guys are doing at the beginning when they're just starting out with quotes but at the end of it these fellas, this theme page is a perfect example how consistency wins this game. All right. So everybody looks at this number, but actually this number is not that important. I mean, it is important now, but this is far more important number. All right. The number of posts. So this shows us how these people show up, how these people are consistent enough to go over to go through that journey of consistency and patience in order to I don't know who knows how much they charge for these shout outs nowadays, right? And the same thing goes with YouTube with TikTok. you just got to be consistent. But as I've told you with these AI tools, you don't have to hire anybody else. And you don't have to like have a lot experience and I don't know, designing certain things. So it's all about consistency, use these AI tools and go and enjoy this content creation world because who knows for how long it's going to last. Wish you good luck and I'll catch you.